Yeah. No matter how you want. Exactly. <laughs> it could be, you know, like your opponent getting like suiciding off stage, accidentally air dodging. Jutsu oh, okay. would pop off. Yeah, Jutsu pops off on Facebook. It's crazy. Does he? I haven't seen it. This just seems like everything he okay. posts is just like very like loud. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just seems loud. You're like, ah, here comes this guy again. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Grand finals. Austin versus Mu Squared. Austin, will he take a tournament today? He might. That'd be pretty interesting. Yeah, I think he's gotten really, really close the past couple of weeks, but hasn't quite gotten that first place. He's always been like a top three, top four guy. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, like he made waves whenever he was playing like back in the 3DS even. Oh, yeah. But it's like, did he take a tournament back then? Um, I feel like he always got real close and just never won it. I think he it. always got really close. Yeah. Yeah, this could be the night. Hey, Austin. Denti. Has Austin ever won a tournament? He has, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, so Austin has won a tournament. That, that's good to know. Okay. Yeah, Mew Square. Definitely, you know, not unaccustomed to the grand finals of Shockwave either. Yeah, he, the nerves don't really hit him like they used to at yeah. all. Yeah, that's definitely a big part of, like, playing at super high level. Especially, you know, at this point in time. It's not as late as it usually is. But, you know, it gets to the point where you're playing at 2 in the morning and you're tired. And, you know, you got to wake up early and for, for work. And... Yeah, you're hungry. Think about everything else, yeah. yeah. Everything, like, physically uh, in the environment itself is working against you. So to be able to uh, to survive those things like, is, like, a serious thing. Oh, yeah. No, it's completely, it's a completely serious thing. Uh, I feel like people have to take esports a little bit more serious, honestly. The way you condition yourself and everything, yeah. uh, what your mindset is going into the match, Absolutely. that's all a big deal. This isn't just like, oh, I just pick up the sticks and I play. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people, you know, like the people that uh, aren't into competitive gaming, it's like, oh, no, whoever can press the buttons faster wins. That's not how it works. No, man. Whatever you're thinking about, it, all that's got to be cleared out. I mean, that's why a lot of times professional athletes, they have, like, specific coaches for them. Yes. To get everything ready, you have to be completely set to go into that match. I mean, with Smash, we're not allowed to have coaches. So, I mean, you're kind of left out there on your own. Between matches, there's no, like, hey, you need to watch for this. It's like, you better make the adaption on your own. Yeah. You, you better be thinking clearly. Don't be on tilt. Everything's got to be perfect. Uh, speaking of things to watch out for, the back throw. Not quite killing yet. No rage on Ness since Austin did get clipped out by that forward air. Wow. That would have been huge if he had any damage on him. <laughs> but yeah, Austin said, I just eat things for fun. Yeah, it's, it's fun. I enjoy food. <laughs> Energy food that people send my way. I think I think the only problem with doing that is I think now he let Mu Squared uh, Mu Squared's a little bit more aware of it That's now. That's true. Yeah. I mean it was cool, but <laughs> yeah. I mean not a bad idea just to get him out of the situation. So he just contested him for three hits. Uh, yeah. It's not looking too good on his end right now. Maybe it was his best option to land because Mewtwo will juggle you forever. Yes, he will. Ah, he lost his opportunity to attack. Yeah, that up smash does have a little bit less landing lag now actually in the latest patch, so it's gonna be a little bit safer to throw it out. Still, you know. Something you can get punished for if it's a it's a bad call. But. Oh yeah. Ooh, trying to catch that. Austin's extra fighting. Quarter. There we go. Now he got some little damage off him. <laughs> like I think that was like ten. But. Yeah, not too much. It was very, not charged at all. So. But this is a bad position for me. To be. Oh, get that out of here! here. Oh my god. Uninterested in your up B setups. I was waiting I think, for the pop off from Jutsu. I think that weight. I think the weight buff. He, he actually would have died from that back door. Oh no! No, most definitely. That's that's wow. Austin. That is Austin in like <laughs> just in the purest form. Like uh, I'm gonna hit you with my head real quick. Yeah. That's kind of what he he, just, he throws it out so randomly, and uh -huh. it always works. And it works. It's a very good move. Cause like he will play like the most the most high level players I've ever seen. <laughs> just <laughs> oh, he just throw his head at him, and like they just they just don't block. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, always man. always interesting to see what Austin can do with the game. I run right back to Smash. Well, this is something Mew Squared likes to do, actually. Uh, just run back to the game. That, uh, whether or not he won or not, he just likes to play in Smash Ball, I guess. Yeah, Mew Squared doesn't care. Competitor. I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that down tilt so good. I mean, I don't see a lot of change in their gameplay style. Um, I don't think there was much to change. I think it just came down to the last hit, honestly. Good. Good dash attack cutting through the aerial momentum, and that falling up here going to be some more. Quick one, two. Both these guys love to take people off stage, too. Yes. So this, this is going to be a, uh, kind of an issue. Because, uh, like, neither one of them is at home off stage at this point when the other one can, can kill them just as quickly. I think Mew Square trying to set up for the trump there, but doesn't quite angle his up correctly. Yeah, I think Mew Square's probably going to go for the uh, the confusion when Net Austin's uh, a B comes out. Okay. Yeah. That would be, like, a good enough priority to actually get through it. 
They just throw it out in a random direction so he can't use it, you know? Yeah. It's, it's very similar to what Rosalina does to him. Oh, oh my wow. god. I think he caught him not DI correctly out of that neutral air. And wait, buff or not, that's definitely going to be enough to hit it. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get that much heavier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice anti air with the down tilt. This is scary position for B-Square. Definitely needs to get something going. And that up tilt will confirm into the up smash. He was talking about that earlier. Uh, he does a lot of times he'll do jab up tilt and up smash. Mm -hmm. um, he actually found out earlier like uh, when I was playing him. <laughs> yeah, I got caught by this. Uh, if you ja if he jabs you, you die towards him. If you're running forward, yeah. it'll actually confirm into the up smash also. So it's just a save option. Just throw out Mewtwo's jab. Yeah. Oh! oh! That, however, not going to be a safe trade. I said these streets are dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> I see you up there and up at my stuff. I'm going to kick that tail. Oh, man. Man, yeah, that's all you really need to make a huge difference. One really strong read whenever your opponent is recovering. And that, that was strange because we saw him doing that earlier in the match, too, where he kept contesting uh, Mew Square. And, and like I was saying earlier, I thought that was questionable. Mm -hmm. I think it was more questionable last time because he was higher yeah, percentage. Yeah. That time, he, he completely contested. Like, he knew what he was going to do, and he yeah. was like, forget <laughs> it. Like, I'll take the damage and I'll get the kill. Yeah, that's you you want to trade this? Well, yeah. Like, <laughs> it was like, oh, I'm not tra we're trading this. It's like when you trade your, like, you when you were a kid, you trade, someone traded you a Charizard for, like, your, your Jigglypuff. <laughs> right. And yeah. you had no idea that the kid was, like, an idiot. <laughs> right. Yeah, I made some bad trades in my day. I didn't do that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, no, come on, man. I, give me some credit. <laughs> I didn't make that trade. Take damage coming up from me, square 40% off that one down tilt. Almost confirming off the neutral air, too. Okay, that up air actually reaches really far below Mewtwo. I don't know what it is about him doing his forward bait. He just looks so disrespectful when he throws yeah, it away from him. Like, Please, and just like slash. Yeah, yeah just like, that's, that's so mewtwo -ish. It's like some, some DBZ stuff. <laughs> like, ah, oh, my huge blast. He's like, please. <laughs> oh, man, he caught him anyway. Wow, that spot dodging from Mewtwo is just insane. Yeah, it's so good. Not, not only because of his uh, the fact that he's invisible during it. Ooh, nice back throw. Completely kept his composure and got the the, the damage off. And oh, then lost nice. the stock. Nice build, please. That move hits so unbearably hard. Wow, even confirming off of the. Oh my that, god. That, that, that far away. Forty six percent. You too scary. We has so much damage. We're at two zero right now for Austin, right? Um, I think it's one. Oh, we did get the reset. Bra okay. Bracket yeah. reset, yep. 2 0 for Austin. So uh, now we're on bracket reset, so they're both in winners now. Ooh, nice call. B Scared is definitely trying to bait the air dodge there instead. Austin coming down with that big ol' up air. Wow. And B Squared again trying to do these double jumps onto the stage. Almost got himself killed with that down smash. Okay. Oh, my that, God. That was good. Instead of, going, instead of rising up onto the stage and potentially getting another trade, just spacing from below. That was not a well spaced Yeah, he's got to be careful with that. I mean, now uh, Austin's starting to read the, the jump that he's doing off the ledge. Like, you saw Austin condition himself. Like, every time uh, Mishka would come back on the ledge, he would do a, a jumping neutral air. Mm -hmm. Trying to get the read off. Yeah, there it is again. Oh. Trying to get a read off and could possibly get a kill now. Oh, it's going to be close. That's not going to kill this early. Nah. Not at 101. Nice to play out of shield. Kind of dangerous up spacing, though. Wow. Wow, the spacing. These two are fighting. Seriously, this is a great match. Yeah, one grab on either side could be... Oh! oh no, just barely too low. I mean, it was a pressured situation. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> but then it, that, that happens. That could've, you could have you could have uh, you could have said that was because of Austin's pressure on him. Yeah. About this, like, you know, made a mistake. But yeah, if he wanted to, like... He's been getting um, hit out of the, the double jump aerials a lot, so spacing super low makes sense. You know, trying to be safe, so doesn't want Austin like, coming off stage and hitting him. Right, because Austin will too friendly. Yes. Him and that yo-yo are like best friends. Like, <laughs> just, uh, but I mean, at the same time, it was just a mistake, so I mean, we'll yeah. see if he can wipe it off. That is three wins in a row by Austin, though. He only needs one more to actually take the tournament. Going in here on game two, once again, back to Smashville. Which is kind of strange. Like, we were talking about earlier, uh, U-Squared is one of those players that uh, 
people usually aren't used to how he plays. Mm -hmm. But he's think... a very strange character. <laughs> yeah, but he beats uh, he beats all the high level people so consistently now. Yeah, regardless of <laughs> whether or not they have the experience. A lot of people, yeah, they like, get put in like the Mewtwo blender and they don't know what to do. But yeah. even people who do know what to do, like man, it is. Yeah, it's, it's not an hard. easy match. Like by no by no standard is beating you squared easy. Yeah. Now, but you have someone like Austin whose playstyle is so erratic almost. Yeah. It's just like it's working. Yes. <laughs> it's working very well against me squares. Uh, up. Oh. Except you're not gonna up up air him right there. It's not gonna no, work. No, not gonna happen. That smash will chew right through it. That back there though does DI correctly. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna hit him with that one. Probably not. Wow. Uh, a little bit off on the neutral B. Okay. I like the side B just being able to get up on the stage, but does have the shield afterwards. Doesn't have the double jump to chase the forward air afterwards. Wow. That actually went underneath the side B. Wow. So much damage. Austin's not trying to get, let him have any of this extra credit right now. This is not what he needs. Mm -hmm. yeah, new square. Starting to play a little bit safer. Really wants to hold on to this stock. Yeah, he start, I think, he, like just like you said, he's starting to play safer. He realizes that you know he does not want this whole tournament to be a... Oh, man. Austin, no, knowing that his opponent's going to be rolling away rather than spot dodging after that misgrab. Who wants to get four? Like, who wants to get beaten four times in a row? You know what I mean? Serious, nobody. I think that's <laughs> no one ever. Head. Like, he's had a couple wow. of these games in the bag and then lost it. Oh, oh man. wow! Really good spacing, but Austin Ness actually low profiling that F smash. Is there not a hitbox close to his body? I think there is. It's just on his hands and it's smaller, so he was just so low to the ground. Ah. Get some damage off the down throw. Some easy damage. Oh, got it oh, again. No, Rose right back into him. Nice. He knew that he was expecting the forward air. He just went for the up B instead. Is that going to be it? That's going to be it. All right. You squared. Right. Putting one game on the board. So we're three and one right now, or we can just say one, one. Mm. One, one, second set. Either win. We're going either way. This last game will decide the tournament. Squared's back in the game. I feel like that, that might have been a little confident boost. Like, okay, I can do this. I'm still here. Yeah, definitely. Duck. Yep, we will. <laughs> Since it is now finally Lawson's counter pick, we will be going off of Smashville. Going to be trying Duck Hunt, which is an interesting choice. I mean, he's always been really big on Duck Hunt, just because I believe that the blast zones on the side are real close. Mm, that is true. So, I mean, you get a back throw from there, that's it. Oh, that falling up air going to bait the air dodge, get some damage off of that. Wow. And he's consistently landing that up air into up B. Yeah, like that's, I think he switched up the combo because the forward air, forward air thing wasn't, yeah. wasn't connecting anymore. That's kind of a rough oh, air dodge. Gets baited out. A lot of damage. You squared. Looking for something, but so smart by Austin. A lot of people would have just kept spot dodging to the floor. Austin had to switch it up, and he's starting to just throw attacks back. Mm -hmm. Oh man, if that would have killed. That'd been pretty sad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that up air though, catching him so high, man. lowering that defense. <laughs> if only that's what it really did. That'd be so dope. <laughs> yeah, it would be pretty dope. Oh man, man. That that shot up wall did 24%. That just like to point that out. That is such a scary thing whenever he's got it all the way Yeah, a projector that does like a fourth of your health. Yeah, that's more than like almost all smash attacks. Oh, man. I think it. But besides Bowser's, maybe. I think it besides is. Besides Bowser's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good trade in Squared's favor. That dash that coming in against that forward air. Okay. It's trying to be patient. Doesn't want to get caught out by another bad trade needle edge. And you gotta remember, this is the, the last stock for, or last game for both of them. So everything gets decided here. Austin's on his, not doing too hot right now. <laughs> he can't get rid of this stock. Um, he's going to try to bait up the team. There it is. But that up smash. That head. <laughs> it's always there. Yep. Oh, man. Again, he's he's sliding up smash. Head. And this is kind of what we see from you a lot. He actually starts getting very uh, into getting that, that up smash read. Yeah, he gets kind of impatient. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I can't remember who he did to earlier, but he did basically the same wow, thing. Wow, that's I'd be pulling him really far away. It was uh it was uh Aerolink he was playing. Okay. He started just throwing up up smashes. Aerolink comped three times because of it. Oh, I think that's oh. gonna be it. Wow, yeah, I mean Mew squared evens it out and finally takes game three set two. That was pretty great. That's pretty great. Yeah. I mean he he came back far. He, yeah, three he games did. in a row yeah. and then yeah. Got shut it's, down. It's, it can be hard coming back from something like that. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of stress in your head, man. Yes. Trying to play from way back then, you know you have to play. You know, like even if I win this, I gotta like, play some more. And yeah, yeah. I mean, until you're in this situation, I guess you might not always understand how that feels. But yeah. High level players, good job, guys. Absolutely. <laughs>
Yep, that is going to wrap up our tournament for the night, though. Uh, I don't know if we want to run. Uh, yeah, we're going to th th show you an uh, advertisement for Low Tier City 4 real quick if you guys are interested in.